Hey, North Star family, Pastor Scott here. Happy New Year to you. This is day one of our 21 days of prayer and fasting in the year of 2023. Can you believe it? And so just excited about what the Lord is doing and where we are headed in the days just ahead. And so just be reminded of your formations journal. We passed that out all through the month of December. And uh, we talked about it yesterday in our time of worship together corporately online. And so today is a day for you to dig into the word Monday through Friday on Saturdays, just a day of personal reflection for you to sense what God is saying and moving and doing in your heart and life and family. And then bring it with you every weekend on Sunday is a place for you to take notes during our time together in the word. And so can't wait to see what the Lord is going to share and, and bring new and fresh into your life. You know what I sense these days here at North star is that there's a new horizon something really fresh and significant for the year of 2023 the last couple of years have been difficult they've been hard and full of a lot of hardship and and so i really sense that god wants to do something really new in us as a church in as you also as an individual and so uh, i was just thinking about this book called ecclesiastes in the old testament it was written by King Solomon late in his life. He's an old guy now, and he's been there, done that, gotten every T-shirt, checked everything off the list. And so he starts talking about the cyclical nature of life. In chapter 1, verse 5, he says the sun rises and the sun sets and hurries back to where it rises. And so he just talks about even nature, even creation, that the sun would set on the horizon and then early the next morning it races back to rise again. And so as we see these last couple of years now fading away on the horizon, a new horizon is coming here in 2023. And so then in chapter 3, he transitions into this long list of things. There's a season and a time for everything under the heavens. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to weep, a time to dance. And so he goes on and on. And he gets, gets to chapter 3, verse number 11. And he says, And he, God, has made everything beautiful in its time, perfect in its time. And he also says he said eternity in the human heart. What I believe that means is that there's something down deep inside all of us that longs for heaven, that longs to live forever, that God set eternity in the human heart. And so we start saying, this surely can't be all there is to it. And then after this long discourse, he drops down in verse 13 and he kind of gives the summation of it all, the answer to life. And so he says in verse 13 that each of us may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all the toil or labor of our hands for this is the gift of God. And so he says, God's a good father who loves to give us good gifts. And so we, we eat good food in moderation and we drink good drink in moderation. But then the key is to find something of worth, value, significance for the kingdom to do with our hands. And in this we'll discover the true meaning of life. This is a gift of God. And so this is what I'm praying for you over these next 20 plus days that every day as we start out in a season of prayer and fasting and diving into the word that we'd be seeking God's heart for the labor of our hands. So you say, Pastor, why do we enter into a season of fasting every year? What is this all about? And let me remind you, the key truth is this. It's not really what you're taking out of your life, but rather what you're replacing that time with. And so uh, you may be fasting a certain food or drink or a meal. You may be fasting social media or any screen time. Whatever it is that you're removing is important, but more importantly than that, it's replacing that with intimacy with the Lord Jesus Christ. And so. Uh, as we walk together corporately as a family in this season of prayer and fasting, we're saying, God, we value you more than any other thing. Uh, I just know that as we uh, walk in the Word and we listen and sit in silence before the Lord, He's going to speak truth into our lives. And we take a moment just to write it down. You know, I've always said that if the God of heaven takes time to speak into your life, it ought to be important enough to us to take a moment to write it down. And so begin to journal and write down these things that the Lord is speaking into your heart and your life. And then when we come back together on Sunday the 22nd, it'll be a great day uh, of joy and laughter and celebration and worship 
of what God has said to you and how the Lord has worked in your family, in your marriage, in your children, in your future, in your finances, in this body, this family called North Star. So I'm glad you're on the journey with us. It's going to be a great, great time. And so take a little time now every day to use that Formations Journal and let's seek the heart of the Father like never before. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, you know that. God says, I know the plans that I have for you, plans for you to succeed for a future and a hope. But then he says in verse 14, he kind of caps it off, says, then you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. That's what we're about over these next 21 days. So let's take a moment to start that journey even now. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for a new year, a new day, a new season, a new horizon in our life. And so, God, we really take you at your word today. We're going to seek you with all of our heart. Lord, we're going to remove some things and replace it with intimacy with you. And so I pray, God, that over these next 20, 21 days, that you would open up our eyes, our heart, our soul, our spirit unto you, Lord, that you would just breathe a fresh wind over us. You would bring a, a fresh fire in us, Holy Spirit. I pray that you would give us wisdom and insight and courage and vision and favor and anointing in every way. And so, Lord, we know that you have an incredible plan for this day today that we're walking in January the 2nd. And so, uh, Lord, we're going to honor you in it and we'll seek you each day for the next 21 days. May this be a time, Lord, that you manifest yourself to us in a very significant, profound way. We thank you. We praise you in advance for the great things that are coming our way just ahead. We pray it now in a sweet, powerful, Bless name of Jesus.